If you are looking for a brand new set of irons that looks just as good as it performs, then hang tight because I may have the answer in today's video. Introducing the brand new Callaway Apex Pro irons. Are these the best forgiving yet great feeling iron of 2023? Let's put them to the test and find out. In today's video, we're going to test them both out here on the golf course at the stunning Woolley Park Golf Club and on the Golf Sun Simulator to see just how they do perform for ball speed, spin rate, forgiveness, and everything you want to see about these brand new 2023 Callaway Apex Pro irons. Now you see guys, I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit worried because we haven't seen a brand new Apex iron from Callaway for quite some time now. I thought they might be giving it up, I thought they might be going down the route of Paradigm irons and Big Bertha irons and more marketable set-like irons, whereas for me the Callaway Apex is certainly where it's at when it comes to Callaway irons. Obviously we have a huge variety of Apex irons now. We have the Apex Pro, the Apex MB, the Apex CB. The Apex Pro is definitely that middle ground where realistically this is what you can a mid to high handicap golfer, maybe even a couple of low handicappers who want that element of forgiveness are going to go. Now I actually took these irons to South Korea with me just a few weeks ago. This could be really good, you know, as an opener. Right, that could be really, really close. I didn't catch that very well. It didn't actually feel that great. I caught it a bit high out the face, but um, yeah, that ball flight kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it? But you may be wondering, James, why did you take these to South Korea with you? Why didn't you take the normal lines that you use? What about the Mizunos, the Tacomos? What about the new tailor-made irons? I actually looked at these in the wrappers and thought, you know what? These look like a great iron that will perform for me where I don't have to have my best stuff but they should also feel pretty good. The one thing I found, I was maybe hitting them a touch left. There is a little bit of offset on here, which if you're not used to, it's definitely gonna help you not hit it right, but you might just see the ball work a little bit to the left if you don't want it to. You can see how many balls I've hit with this in the studio, by the way. It's covered in uh, urethane. But I really do love this blade length. It's not overly long. It's not really, really short like the Callaway Apex of old. That's another one down its throat. Lovely ball flight for a nine iron these. To say these are a hollow body construction, they are jam packed full of technology of which I will go through in this video for you. But then feel wise, listen to that. Yes, that is a urethane covered golf ball, but it feels amazing. Um, right, I think we've got two pretty close. Can we go one more? Try and draw this in. How workable are they? Right, it's not drawn, but it's at it. Guys, let's get down there. Let's see where those are. Today, we're gonna to test the nine iron, the seven iron and the five iron. You also get a gap wedge in this set as well, if you want it, which is nice, because they are pretty strong lofted, so you're probably gonna need extra clubs. So guys, you'll see also in the bag today, I have the brand new 2023 TaylorMade P790 irons. They are obviously going to be a huge competitor when it comes to the new Callaway Apex. Do me a favor, guys, get in the comments below, which one would you have if you were going to have a brand new hollow bodied iron in your bag for this year? And I mean, to be totally honest, you'd have to get this one right because they're both very expensive. They're both going to set you back over a thousand pounds. It's a lot. I'm really excited to show you where these are finished because there were three pretty good shots, like not so much in the strike, but in how I feel like they should perform. And that for an opening few shots on an iron review, I'm going to take all day long. Very, very happy with that dispersion and one towards the back of the green. How often would you expect to put it that close from 140, 145 yards? I'm quite realistic and I think that is really good for someone of my level really good. So a rather impressive display there with the nine iron, with the shorter irons, that's all good and well. A lot of people can hit good short irons and a lot of people who are wanting to buy these golf clubs want and need that performance in the longer end of the bag. Enter the five iron. You may all be saying, James, just what is so special about these new Callaway 
club. So they do feature a new progressive face. This is designed to give players a powerful long iron performance and much more precise shorter shots. The long irons are designed with a powerful forged 455 face cup, which this will feature, this being the five iron of course, and the short irons feature an ultra consistent forged 1025 face plate. That's engineered to give you more control. So that's why the nine iron felt so gorgeous. But does that mean the long grinds maybe don't feel as good because they've got that different face insert to give you more performance. Let's find out, let's see first of all, just how they do perform. Remember, we're gonna jump in the studio to check for numbers as well. Just a nice solid five iron, please. That is a lovely feel, I must say. I didn't anticipate that to feel as good as it did. You can see it's gone a little bit left again. I think that is down too well. First of all, my swing a bit, but also just a little bit of offset on there, a little bit more than I would like. Can I play a little low shot with this five iron? Yes. That's the beauty about these clubs and that for me, they need to do this because the new P790 iron does this so well. If Callaway brought out an iron where you just struggle to pick your ball flight, struggle to have a little bit of versatility, Callaway would struggle to sell these. However, that does feel quite good and it does feel like if I show you those two ball flights again, I can pick the ball flight I want. That's mega important even for what's dubbed a forgiving forged iron. The new irons also feature a new dynamic sole design that is designed to help you glide through the turf a little bit more. Personally, I, I don't know how much that is going to help you. I think it depends very much on your angle of attack and your release as to how much kind of gliding you're going to get through the turf. But they do feel good. I feel like I'm taking nice divots with them, so I can't complain. I'm not going to say it's a game changer. But I'm also not going to say that there's nothing there. Again, just tweaking left a little bit there. For me, I would probably start looking into the CB heads where there's a little bit less offset, a tiny shorter blade length, but then you're not going to get the true element of forgiveness that you get in these Apex Pros, are you? I certainly feel like the name Apex Pro over the years has become more a marketing tool than anything else. Pro for me should be the MB, whereas it's obviously the kind of more forgiving, hollow bodied, tungsten weighted iron. So a big question that everyone might be asking in the comments is, James, how do the irons feel? Because they're obviously gonna perform pretty well. I can't imagine Callaway throwing out an iron that doesn't perform that well. And they feel pretty good. They feel nice and soft. Even the long iron there with the slightly different face insert felt pretty good. We're gonna test the mid iron, the seven iron in just a second. This was the nice accurate one where I tried to play it down. That is often a shot that I do try and play to hit kind of the center stripe of the fairway. And the other two, which were exactly the same swing, have gone pretty much exactly the same distance and exactly the same direction. So for me, at least we are getting consistency there. The huge factor that I need with these irons is consistency. I don't want a five iron that goes 200 yards, but the next one goes 230 and the previous one goes 170. Because to me, that is unworkable, unmanageable, and you just would not go and buy it. You wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. Let's go mid iron. Let's hit some nice 170 yard seven irons, and then let's jump in the studio and see just how these irons do perform. Okay, 170 yards out here. This is a gorgeous golf shot if we can make it work. You can see bunkers on the left, flag back right. And this is a lovely lie actually in the fairway. So we should be able to get these back there. For me, it's a long seven iron that goes 170, but these are some of the longest irons you'll probably test. That was a little bit pulley and a little bit heavy. I'll be amazed. You know what, that is front left bunker. That's what that shot did probably deserve. Still going a long way to say it was so heavy. Come on. Right, right hand side. Not my best stuff here, I must say, but those are both flag high. And this is what you almost want from these irons. I don't mind coming out here and hitting bad shots with these because I want to test these on bad shots. If I came out here and hit everyone perfect, you'd be watching a different video, wouldn't you? You'd be watching, well, I don't know, not this. Come on, nice high one. There we go. That's the one I wanted. If that one carries, which it has, that is 
middle of the green with this Apex Iron or Apex Pro Iron. Guys, let's jump in the simulator. Let's see just how these irons do perform for numbers when you strike them out of there. And let's see if you could potentially have these in the bag for 2023. So guys, I actually tested the brand new Callaway Apex Pro irons the same day as I tested the new TaylorMade P790s and I hit them side by side and it was really interesting to see just how good the Callaway Apex did feel. I thought personally the P790 felt fantastic and the Callaway Apex was certainly up there with feel. The 5 iron felt a little bit kind of more clicky than the shorter irons but we tested 7 iron, 9 iron and 5 iron for numbers. I was really impressed with just how easy it was to launch, especially with the long irons. And as you can see, ball speed's all pretty high, spin rate's all pretty low as well, like three nine for a five iron's not a lot of spin, but distance-wise, these irons are certainly gonna be up there with some of the longest and most forgiving of 2023 for kind of mid-handicap golfers. What do we really think to these Apex irons? I really enjoyed hitting these clubs, and that, for me, is a little seal of approval. If you can enjoy playing golf clubs that give you the level of performance these give you, the level of forgiveness that these clubs give you, and to be honest, the level of looks that they give you. So many people might well look in your golf bag if you've got these and be like, oh, wow, they're the new Callaway Apex Pro irons. Not only do we know they're very expensive, but they look phenomenal. And it's so hard to get a good looking golf club that does perform for you, especially if you need or want this level of forgiveness unless you talk P790. Guys, I'm gonna do a huge comparison video coming up, so make sure you do smash that subscribe button if you wanna see the comparison between the brand new Callaway Apex Pro irons for 2023 and the new TaylorMade P790s. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you all exactly the same time I've messed this one up tomorrow. Goodbye.